friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis this is a stab incision at around 9 o'clock now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber beneath this air bubble Tripan blue 0.06% dye is applied over the anterior capsule of this cataractus lens. This is a bit of diluted adrenaline. Adrenaline is dilated on to 1 and it is applied. The dye is washed out with BSS and then 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber. And now this is the main incision at around 11 o'clock. And then another stab incision on the left side of the main incision at around 1.30 o'clock. Now, capsulorexis is to be done, some more visco, and then a 26 gauge bent needle. A cystitome is used to raise a capsular tag. Then I hold this capsular tag with uterator forceps, go along the border of the people because in this case the size of the people is around 5.5 millimeter. So I have got a rexis of about 5 millimeter going near the margin of the dilated people. Now hydro dissection is done. There are some air bubbles in the syringe, it has come out. Since this is a hard cataract, at multiple points fluid is injected and then the nucleus is mobilized. Some more visco, 2% SPMC, and then the tip of the FACO needle is introduced into the anterior chamber and it goes bevel down. The chopper fixes the eyeball, the phaco needle goes in, some superficial cortical lens matter is aspirated, handpiece is turned and then the exposed part of the phaco needle is buried in the substance of the nucleus it travels through the nucleus for some distance, goes near the opposite equator and then the chopper is used to divide the nucleus into two halves. The nucleus is rotated 180 degree and the two heminuclei are separated completely. And then each heminucleus is divided into two fragments. So the nucleus gets divided into four fragments. And now each quadrant is tilted and emulsification of each quadrant is started from its apex. If necessary, this large nuclear fragments is subdivided into smaller parts most of the time it is not necessary. There is no hard and first rule in surgery. Whatever is safe for the patient, by whatever technique you are getting good result, whatever your intuition says for the well-being of the patient, do that. This is a sheet of epinucleus it is tilted and it is gradually emulsified with very low ultrasonic energy, say 5% ultrasonic energy. 
nucleus is managed, epinucleus is removed. Now some 2% SPMC is injected into the anterior chamber. And then cortex is removed by a 23G Simco cannula. This is a beautiful instrument, very safe. And at this time, I am piercing the solen conjunctiva at some points, making some passages so that fluid collected can come out. And now, the 23G Simco is used to remove the cortex. At this time, the cortex from the right side has been removed. This is the cortex from 12 o'clock. This is the cortex from 1 o'clock. From 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock, there is no cortex. Going through the right side port, removing some cells sticking to the posterior capsule from the superior aspect. And now, the cortex is nicely cleaned. It is the time to implant an intraocular lens. And this is what is called hydro implantation. The antichamber is kept formed by hydro, that is BSS. And the intraocular lens goes into the capsular bag. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic, just by a push of the left hand instrument, goes into the capsular bag. Then it is dialed by the same instrument. And now the side ports are closed by corneal stromal hydration. The corneal stroma becomes thick and the side ports close. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. See, some visco that was sticking to the posterior aspect of the cornea that is on the corneal endothelium comes out at this time. So we can say that the anterior chamber is totally free of viscoelastic substance. And now the integrity of the wounds are checked. There should not be any leakage from any side. And then some moxie is applied and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.